What's up guys, Brian back to do a top 10 Walking Dead episodes. Spoilers ahead if you're not up to date on the show, season 7 coming this October. So if you haven't been all the way up to season 6, potential spoilers ahead. If you haven't been there, you don't want to watch this, I'm guessing. So number 10, it was really hard to do this freaking list because there's so many great episodes. But number 10, season 2, episode 7, pretty much dead already, is the mid-season finale of season 2. It's basically... When Rick shoots Sophia and she comes out of the barn and all the walkers come out of the barn and you kind of get some resolution of that storyline. It was kind of sad to see that but you know finally got resolution to know if she was dead or alive or whatever and you can move past it but it was a good episode overall finally completing a storyline. Carol's heartbroken and the group kind of takes out the zombies. Look at Lori in the back there in that picture pretty funny but basically it's a good resolution to the story so it's a good episode for that number nine season three episode 12 entitled clear i've actually been to the morgan house this is when morgan comes back in when carl rick and michonne go out getting stuff and they kind of bond and build going forward getting the guns to go against the governor Morgan's in the, the cot there and it's pretty cool. I've actually seen this apartment been in it and um, the, the bonding here the connection the storyline if we didn't know if Morgan was going to come back and we finally came back they got the picture in the bar and um, Michonne gets the cat too damn beautiful and there's the bag that bag we felt bad for that guy but that bag has made a brief appearance in season six Daryl has it. Number eight is the episode that started it all. Season one, episode one, days gone by. Without this, The Walking Dead would not be what it is. There's so many iconic things of that. Build the storyline up. You know, it's a tough one because it's not the greatest episode, but it starts the whole series. And you got to give credit where credit is due. Rick and Shane building that bond there too. You know, I personally like Shane. I think Shane did all he could do to help Rick out. And he was in a tough situation coming out of there. And there's so many iconic scenes like that one, the teddy bear girl scene. You know, she picks up the walker and it's not the most legit and everything there too. But when he shoots her, man, man, you were kind of hooked right away instantly after you saw that. Number seven, season four, episode one. 30 days without an accident, it's basically the big spot. When they go there to rummage there through it, you see Bob get, you know, getting alcohol. Beth's, uh, look at Glenn's face there too with the walkers coming through the ceiling. It was just a good episode, high in, high energy, high, you know, that comes back from season three. You didn't know if this was a walker or what. She was talking. It was crazy. You get to see back at the prison, how they set up some things. Michonne goes out looking for the the governor but it's just a big episode because it comes back a lot of action as well number six is season five episode 16 entitled conquer it's the season finale where a lot of good stuff happened porch dick dies morgan returns again <laughs> comes back i guess the morgan list this is where rick shoots uh pete for uh killing reg morgan saves daryl and aaron it's really a cool episode there's a lot of action they build it up they you know it it's not the best season finale, I'd say, but I think it was a great episode overall. It was a great just way of going forward. And a lot of people don't remember, but there's the big fight between Glenn and Nicholas there too, where you didn't know if Glenn was going to die getting shot in the arm and whatever, but he makes it out. Number five, season four, episode eight, Too Far Gone. The governor attacks the prison and ruins the prison and they have to get out. So it's the mid-season finale of season four, Too Far Gone. Kind of that kind of thing with this girl playing in the mud. Like, what was she doing there, too? But Governor shoots her in the head, ends it. Governor dies. Michonne stabs him in the heart, and Lily shoots him in the head. So either way, he's freaking dead. Rick's beat the crap. The group is separated. It's kind of all over the place. The prison is gone. Daryl has some iconic moments, like throwing the grenade down the tank. And there you go. Number four. Season 5, Episode 1, No Sanctuary. Basically the Terminus episode. When I fell in love with Carol. And Carol was a badass there too. She saved the group. Glenn was going to get with the bat. And then there's an explosion and everything stops. The group gets out of the, the A uh, train car. They're out. They're doing this. And it was a great episode for action packed. The storyline, Terminus. It was, very, it was one episode basically there. Terminus. And nothing. This is your heartstrings. A tug here when Carol and Daryl see each other and they cry. It's very sad there. You must shed a little tear on there too when you see it. Number three. Another Carol episode. We love Carol. Season six, episode two, JSS. Basically the Carol Wolf episode. This is what made me want to get a picture with Melissa McBride right before Walker Stalker in Atlanta. And we did. Awesome picture here of Jesse stabbing the female wolf. 
And it was just a high energy, really Morgan and Carol episode trying to defend them. You didn't really like Morgan for not killing the wolves, but he wanted to get away. Carol's doing the opposite. She's taking everyone out like the Terminator. And it was just a great energy packed episode. JSS, love that one on season six. Number two, season two, episode 13, Beside the Dying Fire. That is the season two season finale at that time it was only 13 episodes now luckily it's 16 episodes but the barn's on fire the the farm they're gone from that they're out of there it was a great scene with daryl at the very end of it herschel was going to die initially at this point right here with his endless shotgun so watch that scene he has like 15 shots with the shotgun they get out but when carol is picked up by daryl watch that very end of the scene it's pretty hilarious and my girl michonne the first Reveal of her, even though it's not Diana Guerrera, but there she is. We get to see Michonne for the first time, so I gotta love that. And number one, my favorite episode is season six, episode nine, No Way Out. By far the best episode for Energy Walker's destruction, death, blowing shit up. Just awesome, great stuff. Build the storyline. The Alexandrians take out a million zombies and Rick's group. They join together to survive going forward. They can do it all. Rick and Carl get shot in the eye. Does that. They did, they did comic book stuff. Great stuff there too. The epic explosion with the rocket launcher. Two rocket two rocket launcher explosions. Can't have that. Tons of walkers getting burned, killed, maimed. Awesome. Great episode. So by far, season six, episode nine, no way out. My favorite episode. So thank you for watching, guys. Did we miss any? Is it pretty hard? It's pretty hard to narrow top ten down. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. What's your favorite episode? Let us know. And as always, guys, thank you for the support.